What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about what a system administrator is in case this is the career path that you want to choose for your IT profession. So let's get into it. In today's technology driven world, the role of a system administrator is vital for the smooth operation of any organization that relies on IT infrastructure. System administrators are the unsung heroes who ensure that computer systems, networks, and servers are running efficiently and securely. And in this video, we're going to talk about what a system administrator is, their responsibilities, the skills required for the job, and the evolving landscape of this crucial profession. Exactly what is a system administrator? So a sysadmin, this is an IT professional that is responsible for maintaining, configuring, and ensuring the reliable operation of computer systems, especially multi-user computer systems such as servers. The primary goal of a sysadmin is to ensure that the IT infrastructure of an organization runs smoothly and efficiently, minimizing downtime and ensuring optimal performance. And sysadmins, they work in a variety of settings, including corporate IT departments, government agencies, educational institutions, and data centers. And they manage everything from hardware and software to networks and security, playing a critical role in the overall IT strategy of their organizations. All right, so let's talk about how much money a system administrator makes. So the average annual salary for a sysadmin in the U.S. is approximately $89,000, which comes out to about $42.75 per hour. Now, the salaries, they can vary based on factors such as experience, education, industry, and location. So for instance, system administrators in Tallahassee, Florida, they earn an average of about $147,000 per year, while those in San Francisco, they make about $111,000. Additionally, professionals in industries like energy, mining, and utilities, they tend to have higher average salaries. All right, so moving on, let's talk about some of the core responsibilities of a system administrator. So the responsibilities of a sysadmin, this can vary depending on the size and type of the organization. However, some core duties are common across most sysadmin roles. And the first is that of system maintenance and monitoring. So sysadmins, they regularly monitor the performance of servers and systems to ensure they are running efficiently. And this includes checking CPU usage, memory usage, and network activity. Activity. They apply software updates, patches, and fixes to operating systems and applications to keep them up to date and secure. And they perform routine maintenance on hardware components such as servers, routers, switches, and storage devices. And this includes replacing faulty components and upgrading hardware as needed. Also, sysadmins, they create, manage, and delete user accounts and permissions, and this includes setting up user profiles, assigning access rights, and ensuring users have the necessary resources to perform their tasks. They provide technical support to end users, troubleshooting issues related to hardware, software, and network connectivity, and this may involve resolving password issues, software installations, and hardware malfunctions. They also configure and manage network devices such as routers, switches, and firewalls to ensure secure and efficient network operation. And they implement and maintain security measures to protect the network from unauthorized access, malware, and other threats. And this includes setting up firewalls, VPNs, and intrusion detection systems. In addition to all of that, sysadmins, they implement and manage data backup solutions to ensure data is regularly backed up and can be restored in case of data loss or system failure. They develop and maintain disaster recovery plans to ensure business continuity in the event of a major system outage or data loss. They manage and enforce access control policies to ensure that only authorized users can access sensitive data and systems, and they conduct regular security audits and vulnerability assessments to identify and address potential security risks. And some more stuff that they do, they use scripting languages such as PowerShell, Python, or Bash to automate routine tasks such as system updates, backups, and user account management. And this helps improve efficiency and reduce the risk of human error. And they maintain comprehensive documentation of the IT infrastructure, including network design, system configurations, and troubleshooting procedures. And all of this is essential for ensuring continuity and facilitating knowledge transfer within the IT team. 
All right, so moving on, let's talk about the skills and qualifications of a system administrator. So becoming a successful sys admin, this requires a blend of technical skills, problem solving abilities, and soft skills. So here are some of the key skills and qualifications needed for this role. So we have technical skills. So you need to have proficiency in managing various operating systems, such as Windows Server, Linux, and Mac. And this includes understanding their architectures, file systems, and command line interfaces. You need to have an in-depth knowledge of networking concepts such as TCP IP, DNS, DHCP, and VPNs. You need to understand how to configure and troubleshoot network devices as well. You need proficiency in scripting languages like PowerShell, Python, Bash, or Perl. And you need to have the ability to automate repetitive tasks because the ability to automate repetitive tasks this can significantly enhance efficiency. You need to have an understanding of cybersecurity principles and best practices. And this includes knowledge of firewalls, encryption, intrusion detection systems, and security protocols. You need experience with virtualization technologies like VMware or Hyper-V and cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. And this is increasingly important as organizations move towards cloud-based solutions. And you need some familiarity with hardware components such as servers, storage devices, and network equipment and understand how to install, configure, and troubleshoot this hardware is essential. Another skill and qualification that you need to have is that of problem solving ability. So you need to have the ability to analyze complex systems and identify the root causes of issues because this is crucial for effective troubleshooting and problem resolution. You need to have precision and attention to detail because they are essential for configuring systems, managing security settings, and documenting procedures. You need to have some soft skills. So strong communication skills are necessary for interacting with end users, IT team members, and management. And being able to explain technical concepts in simple terms is extremely valuable. You need to be able to collaborate with other IT professionals and departments because this is often required to achieve common goals and resolve problems. And you need to efficiently manage time and prioritize tasks because this is important in a role that involves handling multiple responsibilities and responding to urgent issues. Also, you need to have some certifications. So earning industry recognized certifications, this can validate a system administrator's skills and knowledge. And some popular certifications include CompTIA Network Plus, Security Plus, Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate, and Red Hat Certified System Administrator. All right, so let's now discuss the evolving role of system administrators. So the role of a sysadmin is constantly evolving due to technological advancements and changing business needs. So here are some trends and developments that are shaping the future of system administrator roles. So first is cloud computing. So as organizations increasingly adopt cloud services, sysadmins need to develop expertise in cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, and managing cloud infrastructure, optimizing and costs and ensuring security in the cloud are becoming essential skills. There's automation and DevOps. So the rise of automation and DevOps practices, this is transforming traditional system administration. And sysadmins are now expected to use automation tools and practices to streamline operations, improve deployment processes, and enhance collaboration between development and operations teams. The next aspect is that of cybersecurity. So with the growing threat of cyber attacks, sysadmins, they play a crucial role in implementing and managing security measures. And this includes ensuring compliance with security standards, conducting regular security assessments, and staying updated on the latest threats and vulnerabilities. Then we have that of remote work. So the shift towards remote work has increased the demand for secure and reliable remote access solutions. And system administrators, they are responsible for setting up and managing remote access infrastructure, such as VPNs and remote desktop services to support remote employees. And then we have data privacy and compliance. So compliance with data privacy regulations such as GDPR and CCPA, this has become a critical aspect of system administration. And sysadmins, they must ensure that systems and processes comply with these regulations to protect sensitive data and avoid legal penalties. 
All right, so next up, let's talk about some of the challenges that are faced by system administrators. So while the role of a system administrator is rewarding, it also comes with its fair share of challenges. And some common challenges include the following. So the first is that of keeping up with technology. So the rapid pace of technological change means that system administrators must continuously update their knowledge and skills. And this requires a commitment to lifelong learning and professional development. Then there's balancing security and usability. So implementing robust security measures is essential, but it can sometimes conflict with user convenience and productivity. And since admins, they must find the right balance between security and usability to ensure a seamless user experience. Then there's managing workload and stress. So sysadmins, they often deal with high stress situations such as system outages or security breaches and managing the workload and stress levels effectively. This is crucial for maintaining productivity and preventing burnout Then we have ensuring compliance. So navigating the complexities of data privacy and compliance regulations, this can be challenging. And sysadmins, they must stay informed about relevant laws and ensure that their organization's IT infrastructure meets compliance requirements requirements. And then there's dealing with legacy systems. So many organizations, they still rely on legacy systems that may not be compatible with modern technologies. So system administrators, they must find ways to integrate and manage these systems while planning for eventual upgrades or replacements. Let's talk about career paths and opportunities for system administrators. So a career as a sysadmin, this can offer numerous opportunities for growth and advancement. So here are some potential career paths for a sysadmin. First is that of a senior system administrator. So with experience, sysadmins, they can advance to senior roles where they take on more complex tasks. They mentor junior team members and they play a key role in strategic IT planning. Then you have that of a network administrator, so specializing in network management. This can lead to a career as a network administrator where the focus is on configuring, managing, and securing network infrastructure. You have cloud administrators. So as organizations move to the cloud, expertise in cloud platforms, this can open up opportunities as a cloud admin who is responsible for managing cloud-based resources and services. You have security admins. So specializing in cybersecurity, this can lead to a role as a security administrator, focusing on implementing and managing security measures to protect the organization's IT infrastructure. You have the IT manager or an IT director. So experienced as admins with strong leadership and management skills, they can advance to IT manager or IT director roles where they oversee the entire IT department and align IT strategy with business goals. And then we have DevOps engineers. So embracing DevOps DevOps practices. This can lead to a career as a DevOps engineer where the focus is on automation, continuous integration and continuous development and collaboration between development and operations teams. All right, so let's talk about the timeline that it takes to become a system administrator. So the time it takes to become a sysadmin, this can vary based on education, experience, and certifications. However, on average, if you go the education path, it's gonna take you about two to four years. So many sysadmins, they start with a bachelor's degree in IT, which can take you about four years to get, or it could be in computer science or some other related field, or they can go get an associate's degree, which might take you about two years, or they can do some self-study with certifications that can also be a viable route. And speaking of certifications, this can take you about three to 12 months. So earning industry certifications like CompTIA A+, Net+, Linux+, or some Microsoft certifications, this can take you a few months of studying and testing. And then there's the entry-level IT experience, and this can take you about one to three years. So many sysadmins, they begin in IT support, help desk, or junior IT roles before transitioning into a system administrator role. And this experience usually takes about one to three years. But overall, the total time is about two to six years on average, depending on the chosen education and experience path. However, highly motivated individuals with strong self-study skills and relevant certifications, they can land a sysadmin role much faster. All right, so to wrap all of this information up, system administrators, they play a crucial role in ensuring the reliability, security, and efficiency of an organization's IT infrastructure. Their responsibilities span a wide range of tasks from maintaining hardware and software to managing networks and ensuring data security. 
Now, as technology continues to evolve, the role of system administrators will adapt, offering new challenges and opportunities for growth. For those interested in pursuing a career as a system administrator, developing a strong foundation in technical skills, problem-solving abilities, and soft skills is essential. And staying updated on industry trends and earning relevant certifications, this can further enhance career prospects and ensure long-term success in this dynamic and rewarding field.